What's going on, y'all? This is boy Caleb coming to you with another video. And this is going to be my official Super Bowl 52 prediction video. Now, in this prediction video, I'm going to go over some matchups, some key matchups, some maybe some underrated matchups you might want to look at. And uh, I'm going to get my opinion on them. And I'm going to see, each, each, I'm going to get my opinion on them. I'm going to want to get your thoughts and opinion on them as well. In the comment section or whatever, you know, thing, I want to go just want to go over things that we'll possibly see in the in the Super Bowl, the things that are like keys to victory for both teams and all that. So without further ado, we're gonna to get to what I think is the most important matchup of the uh, of this Super Bowl. Obviously, it's gonna be the Patriots offense versus the. Eagles defense, but more, but but more, to look, taking a more in depth look at it, it's going to be the Patriots O line versus the Eagles D line. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, in the uh, in the, in the AFC Championship game, the uh, Patriots the uh, Patriots O line struggled against that very good Jaguars all deep defensive line led by Calais Campbell. Uh, Marcel Darius and those guys. I mean, they got out the time break, especially in the first half, uh, made them uncomfortable, and that's how the Jaguars were able to get out to such a big lead. That's how their linebackers and their uh, corners, you know, Jalen Ramsey and those guys, Miles Jack and those guys, that's how they were able to make plays in the first half and stuff. I mean, you know, that D line that was a lot. That was a that was a key to a lot of their success. A lot of the Jaguars' success this season and in the AFC Championship game. Now, obviously, the uh, Patriots made adjustments in the second half and came back to win in the AFC Championship game. But that's been the uh, that's been the key. That's been the recipe for success against uh, uh, four teams against going against Tom Brady. Your front four has to get. Pressure. They have to make their presence known, not just in the first half, but all the entire game. Just go back to both of the losses against the Giants. You know, uh, especially in the first one, you had Strahan and Human Yor on on the on the ends. You had Tuck in the middle, and then in the in the in the, in the, in the excuse me in the other loss, you had Tuck and uh, Human Yor on the outside, wreaking havoc with just their front four. So the other seven guys can drop back. And playing coverage. Now the uh, the difference for the the, the the difference for the Eagles is they got about six, seven, eight guys that that rotate in and out. All those guys can wreak havoc. I mean, that's I, I think that's going to be huge late in the game. You know, unlike uh, unlike some teams, you ain't going to have those same four, maybe five guys in in every you know almost playing almost every play. Because they'll get tired down the line, you know. The Eagles can put in a whole number, another front four in what two, or th two or three plays, however, however the rotation goes, and they all, they, and they all get in, they all get in, and they all wreak havoc. I mean, with the Patriots' problems of protecting Tom Brady against Jacksonville, this that's going to be that's going to be huge. And I do give the advantage to the Eagles' defensive line in that uh, in that matchup. And but you know we'll we'll see what happens. You know, obviously with Tom Brady. Uh, uh, back back in the pocket, you know, he makes any <laughs> patriot all patriot uh uh dilemma on offense seem almost like a non factor. Staying with the pass offense versus the Eagles defense, I want to look at the uh, receiving uh, receivers, the pass receivers against the Eagles secondary. You know, going to pass receivers, we got Brandon Cooks and Danny Amendola, uh, Rob Gronkowski. I don't know how much of a role <clears throat> Philip Dorsett will play in this game, but we'll see. Obviously, uh, the Patriots do miss Julian Elman, but uh, Danny Amendola did a did a heck of a job this year, especially last week when Gronk went out with the excuse me, uh, excuse me, not last week, a couple weeks ago in the AFC Championship game when Gronk went out with the injury. He definitely played that Edelman type of role, playing in the slot, getting open, you know, get, getting those easy uh, uh, throw under in, intermediate routes 
and doing something with him. He's always been a consistent receiver when he's been healthy. He's always been a good. He's always been good. But um, I mean the Eagles secondary is pretty good too. You know, uh, got Mills and Darby as the corners. Got Jenkins as a safety. Uh, those guys, those, those 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 guys play the pass really well. Uh, last week, you see what they did to Case Keenum. I mean, <laughs> that was just domination. Well, of course, that was the line in the in 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 the uh, in the uh, in the pass rush too. But you know, <clears throat> those guys did a really good job, great job as well. They forced a lot of turnovers this year, and you know, but again, you got Brady back there, so. I mean, uh, you seen what he you seen what you seen what he did to Seattle three years ago. You seen what he did to uh, Atlanta's offense. You seen what he did in the second half to the Jaguars' defense. You know, uh, <laughs> I always got to obviously I got to give the advantage to the to the receivers and Gronk <laughs> over the. Uh, over the over the over the Eagles defense, I mean, it, it's 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 like it's like fifty one forty nine. though. it's close, but you know, again, got to give that edge to the Patriots because of Tom Brady. You know, I'm pretty sure they they went over how they're going to attack this defense in, in in the week. And you know, Brady, I mean, one of the masterminds, along with uh, Josh McDaniels on the offensive end. You know, they've uh. They're ready, they're ready, and uh, Tom. I mean, and, and even if they do struggle, I mean, and especially if they struggle in the first half, I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're, they're they're the best in the league at making adjustments at halftime. So if they don't have it right, they'll get it right. I think Brady's gonna have another, have to have another game where he throws like 45, 50 passes because I just don't see the. Uh, Patriots running backs have success have success running the ball. They probably will be have success in the passing game. You know those little flare routes, uh, 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 swing routes. You know circle routes where they uh, go around and come to the middle of the field screens. They'll have to they'll have success in the pass game, but I just don't think the Patriots running backs will have any success uh, 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 running the football at all especially against that Eagles D-line. Going to the other side, uh, the Eagles offense versus the Patriot defense. Looking at the Eagles offensive line versus the Patriots defensive line. Eagles did one hell of a job last week against uh, probably one of the better defensive line units in the game in the uh, Minnesota Vikings. I mean, they kept... They kept foals clean as a, almost clean as a whistle, man. And you know that especially uh, you go back to that one play where I think it was the left tackle, just Jason Peters is out because but and they had a, they had another guy a backup playing there. Griffin got Griffin bull rushed <laughs> the, the tackle back into Foles. And he basically grabbed Foles with his right hand and Foles kind of stepped up in the pocket, stepped away from him, and then the left tackle was able to. Get the leverage back on the Griffin and, and and push him away, and push him back downfield away from uh away from Foles and then Foles steps up and throws that bomb to Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, man, that was that was crazy. But uh, yeah, uh, the Patriots, hmm, I mean they're kind of hit and miss, with, especially on the D line. You know, there's no Will Fork anymore. There's no Nick Mitch anymore. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'll give the edge to the Eagles' offensive line in this uh, on 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 on, on f f for this one. You know, I I, I think I mean like I said after la last week after uh the way they did Minnesota, that was like I said one of the best units all year. That was pretty. That was pretty. That was a pretty dominate. That was that was that was, that was a pretty dominating <laughs> game by the Eagles offensive line. Now we're looking at the Eagles receivers versus the Patriots uh, secondary. Eagles receivers: Torrey Smith, Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar, and tight end uh, Zach Ertz. 
uh, versus uh, Gilmore and uh, Butler on the outside. McCordy is the uh, free safety, former corner. I mean, you can play both positions. Um, Patrick Chung in the uh, as the other safety. It's gonna be a heck of a matchup, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a heck of a matchup. Uh, I think this is, and you got Nick Foles as the quarterback. Um, Foles, I mean, I mean again. Last week, Minnesota, one of the best defensive units as a whole, had a great secondary. Foles just let it fly. I don't think he had 300 yards, but he was close to 300 yards. I mean, he had through three or four deep throws down the field. I talked, mentioned the one about to mention that big one to Alshon Jeffrey, the one to Torrey Smith, you know, uh, and then another touchdown pass to uh, Jeffrey where he f fit the ball at right where right right where only Jeffrey can get it for a touchdown later on in the game. Um, man. This is tough. This is a tough pick right here. And you have Ertz, you know, who probably be lined up lined up against a uh, either a linebacker or or Patrick Chung will take uh, the responsibility for him. But Patrick Chung takes takes responsibility. All you have to do is throw it up. Ertz will go get it. Uh, if if you put a linebacker on him, Ertz will probably just blow right past the linebacker. So. I mean, especially with the height of both Jeffrey and uh, Aguilar. I think Aguilar was Aguilar is six three, six four. I think Jeff, Jeff Jeffrey is like six five. I mean, those guys on Gilmore. I'm, I'm not not discounting Gilmore because Gilmore had some great plays last week against the uh, Jaguars, including that one where he dove and he he kind of swat at it with his right hand. That was a heck of an athletic play, but uh. I mean, as far as, I mean, looking at the height, looking at the height advantage alone, I'll go with the Eagles receivers and urge the tight end in this one, in, in in this matchup. I mean, I mean, it's all according to if Foles can do it again, if Foles can uh, make those throws downfield, can he, can he look off the defense, can his offensive line win the battle at the line of scrimmage and give him time like they did last week against Minnesota? Excuse me, it's a couple weeks ago. I keep saying last week, a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, man. I I I think the Eagles' offense can make some plays in this game, and I think they can make some plays. I'm kind of I I, I I don't know why, but this it seems like they're they're more e these these two teams are more evenly matched <laughs> than than I thought. I mean, because. You have Jay Ajayi and uh, LeGarrette Blunt in the backfield for the Eagles as far as running the ball is concerned. Now, I do think that the Eagles running backs can have some success against the uh, Patriots D-line and linebackers. Again, if the if the offensive line dominates the line of scrimmage and they're able to get back up to the second level, you know, you've seen, you've seen what Jay Ajayi could do Last year, with the uh, Dolph, with the Dolphins, where he had that heck of a stretch, where he had was it two games of of over two hundred yards rushing. If he has a good old line in front of him, he can find the holes. He 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 can get through. He can he can do he can do what he he can do what he got to do. Uh, Legarrette Blunt, same thing. Short yardage, <laughs> like like Chris Berman says, he can power he can power his way for a few yards. I think the Eagles will have more success running the ball than the Patriots will, but I think the Patriots will have more success in the past in, in the past game because you know they're, they're running back some more athletic. <laughs> I thought this game was would, would be more would be easier to pick, but you know, I mean, it seems like these teams are kind of uh, more evenly matched than I thought. So it should be a close game. But at the end of the day, there's only one team taking that field. That's Bill Belichick as head coach and Tom Brady as quarterback. That's the New England Patriots. 
I hate to say, I, I, I hate to say, I hate to say it. I really do. I hate to say it. Because I, I would, I would be overjoyed for the Eagles to win because <laughs> they just win all the time. Somebody else need to win. Damn. But I think the, uh, I, I think, I think, I think, yeah, I, I, I believe, and I don't think, I believe the Patriots will win this game. I actually think it, I actually think it's going to be a pretty, pretty high scoring game. I mean, again, you got Brady back there, man. It's not, this is, this isn't Case Keenum making his first, uh, this isn't Case Keenum making his first, uh, championship game appearance. This is Tom Brady. This is the GOAT. You know, uh, five titles. He with the with the win them all, he can he can solidify himself as the only player as the only player with six Super Bowls. Of course, Charles Haley, the former uh, Cowboys and Forty ers great. Uh, he has five Super Bowl cham- championships with the Forty ers and the uh, and the uh, Cowboys. Brady with six would. He will stand alone as the only player in NFL history with six. Bill Belichick will add to his coaching goat <laughs> legacy with his six championship. Uh, I just, I just, I just, I just think, I just think they'll do it again. I think it'll be another close game, and I think Brady will find a way again to pull him out, pull to pull it out. Uh, final score, like I said, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Sorry about that. Leave my grandma's house. She got the little home home landline phones. Uh, final score, it's going to be another three-point <laughs> Patriot victory. I got it. 34-31. Patriots win 34-31 only because of second half adjustments, you know, and the Patriots are the best team in the league and making second half adjustments. I think just like last year, I think that 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 I think I think that the Eagles will get out to a get out to a strong start. I'll say maybe the halftime score is uh 21 Hmm. I'll say the halftime score is 21-10 Eagles. I think they got to a fast start. I think they got to a really fast start. 21-10 Eagles at halftime. Everybody's going everybody in Philadelphia is going to be celebrating like, "Yeah, it's going to be the first one." Yeah. And then Belichick going to be a uh, Scheming in the locker room with a uh, uh, Patricia and McDaniel's for the final time, as both of them will be going to uh, be head coaches uh, after this game, uh, and they're gonna be scheming with Brady. He gonna be telling everybody else, "Do your job," and I think they'll come out and they'll put up three touchdowns. Eagles might get one, but hey, Brady's gonna come through again. 31, did I say 31? Yeah, 31-28, Patriots get the victory. And Belichick and Brady will have one for the other thumb. But let me know what you think in the comments, man. Let me, and I'll also be, also be putting this up <clears throat> on my social medias. Let me know what you guys think on my social medias as well, those that know me. If you watch this video, you know, let me know. Tell me like, yeah, Caleb, you is so right. Or yet yeah, or no, nah, Caleb, you you's a stupid mother. Man, watch your mouth, dude. Anyway, let me know what you think uh about what's gonna happen in Super Bowl 52. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you on the next video.